We are in the Valley of the Sun. Few places in the country as picturesque as the desert southwest. And we've got a good one on tap here at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel. And we are ready for football as the cards get set to match up. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line with the Minnesota Vikings. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 30, before being taken down. A gain of 28 yards there, and give him a first down. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him, and he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 41. Murray throwing complete there to Hopkins. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. That catch good for only a couple. It's second and eight at the 39-yard line. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Running for the shotgun with Drake. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. The carry. He's brought down at the 37-yard line. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six. From the gun, Murray looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Harrison Smith, and he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 39. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Someone's looking fresh, and this O-line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice gain, too. A good run. Got seven on first. Here's second and three. Draw play. Cousins to Cook. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. And he's got Kyle Rudolph. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Cousins to his tight end Rudolph for a Viking first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Not much there, only a yard. Brings up second and nine at the Cardinals' 36-yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now Cousins, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot, forcing the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. They 
Just a big chunk, six yards there, and it leads to fourth down. It's now fourth down. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on the punt. Deep for the Cardinals, Christian Kirk. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. That's the No score after one on EA Sports. Second and nine now from the 21. Murray going to run play action with Drake and look to throw it. He'll buy some time right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Murray's throw on target to Christian Kirk. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Yeah, at the 49-yard line. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Murray a give. This is Drake. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Neil Hunter on the stop. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Murray going to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a first down on a gain of ten. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. Murray fighting. Lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Dalvin Cook, the ball. Two yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Throwing on second and long. Cousins. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. Cousins they get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Third and short yardage, Cousins. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Cousins in step with Jefferson that time. First down, Vikings. Gain of 15. First down, Vikings. Oh, 
So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. To throw is Cousins. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll throw again. Cousins. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And they're going to mark him down short maybe by about a yard if that the cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next it's a 47 yard field goal try from here but instead they're going to opt to go for it on fourth down they'll run for it cook and he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Cousins now. Off the mark, incomplete. Dalvin Cook is running back, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Third down. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. From the gun, here's Cousins. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. A 34-yard attempt. And Bailey able to knock it through. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful at getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? offense at the line ready to get their drive started and last time the turnover on the fumble and they were in enemy territory so they had to be very frustrating down the scoreboard here can't do it again you nailed every part of what was frustrating <laughs> down on the scoreboard 
had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? One play has them up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. It's caught on the right side, Williams. That catch good for only a couple. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One of the selling points of the in route is against the quarterback, a really nice sight line to his receiver, and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success, as they did on that play. First down, Murray. To the right side, complete to Williams. And he will have a first down as they're in the field goal range now at the 30. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Gonzalez's kick is good. For this first half. So we've reached halftime in a low scoring affair, just a pair of field goals. 3 3 is our score. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 24. And he'll drop here to throw. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better. And maybe they're starting to make some headway. Blitz coming and down he goes. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Third and long for Cousins. And this is going to be incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Most like that in just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Here's Britton Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. At their own 24-yard line. They'll start the drive with Drake. 
And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just going right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Now on first down, Drake again. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. Fitzgerald holding it in for Murray. that running game with Dalvin Cook. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Again, it's Cook. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. A three-yard gain on the play. Brings up third down. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now we've got movement up front. And I think this is going to be on Minnesota. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. Now Cousins. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Cole quit on to kick as he sends it away. Oh, the return is Kirk. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. At their own 30-yard line. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and ten. They stay on the ground with Drake. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Getting out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. the gun on third down, Murray. He's got the first down and more past midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. 15 yards that time and the Cardinals move the chains. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Murray now on first down. They'll roll him out right. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. 40-yard line. On 
second down, it's Drake. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. We we'll always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Running, it's Drake. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. On second down now, it's Drake. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Flushed out right. He can run. Oh, no, he lost the football. Good job starting on that scramble. Had his eyes on that first down marker, CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 29, Cousins. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I like what I'm seeing from them here. Tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. On first and 10, Cousins with a pitch and catch here to Rudolph. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at their 48-yard line. To throw again on second down. Cousins. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Cousins. Open here, Adam Thielen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about the clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Cousins gives way to Cook, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Cook. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining.
after the pickup of five. Here's second and five. They run. Cook. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends his drive. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a run with Cook. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. two but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal we can't be totally sure that that was by design but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball in the right hash in order to kick the field goal so here we go maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming a 27 yard attempt and his kick is through it is good dan bailey the hero as time expires and it'll be fun time of the Twin Cities tonight. The Vikings win it. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football. Low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.